streetlight effect. It's basically about people who tend to gather information from where it's easiest to look, like Google's first page or YouTube's first page or the first page of the newspaper. And if you want to get more specific, the majority of research uses only the sources that appear on the first page of Google search results, regardless on how factual they are. Mixing all this up together, this can screw up an entire scientific field, and of course people's mentalities as well, actually creating a chain effect. And this is yet one more cognitive bias we are all dealing with almost every day. Another interesting one is called belief bias, and this is about the arguments we normally reject for being stupid, suddenly transforming into perfectly logical ones, if they lead to conclusions we approve of. In other words, we judge an argument's strength not by how strongly it supports the conclusion, but by how we support the conclusion. And then there's cultural parasitism, which is when an ideology takes over the mind like a parasite changing the host's behavior so that the host can spread it to other people. Therefore, a successful ideology, the only kind we hear about, is not configured to be true. It is actually configured only to be easily transmitted and easily believed. The parasite survives. And I also want to focus my attention on another interesting one, which is the focusing illusion. Get it? Get it? Focusing my attention? Focusing illusion? Get it? And this states that nothing in life is as important as you think it is while you are thinking about it. And if this sounds funny, I'll explain it using a simple example. Let's take education. We've all been told that following an academic path is an important factor that ultimately will determine your income. Possibly one of the most important, actually. But according to the focusing illusion, this is less relevant than you can imagine. That is because when you focus on education only, you are ignoring and neglecting almost endless factors. You can put two individuals on the same education path, hoping they will end up in the same place. But no one can predict the entropy one's gonna have in his or her life. That same entropy will somehow break the chain and the two of them will be taken apart. I mean, just think about it. If everyone had the same education, who would take care of everything? If every single guy on the planet was about to become a CEO, who would program all of our stuff? Or take care of the babies? or the ducklings. And even the differences in income among people who have the same educations are huge. And of course I'm not saying that education is bad for you and I think that's a cool factor to consider when sending your duckling to school, but I think that eventually you should not be too stiff about it, right? We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. And finishing the run with the survivorship bias. This is when people overemphasize the examples that pass a visibility threshold. News is only news if it's an exception rather than the rule. But since it's what we see, we think about it and we treat it as a rule as well. Our understanding of the universe, or of the ocean, is essentially based on the data we have. Or our knowledge about serial killers is based on the ones who got caught. And in the meantime, I'm curious to know what you guys think is the most common cognitive bias we are facing every day. Or even better, what is your particular cognitive bias you feel that you need to work on, right? Thank you for watching and we'll see you again very soon.